Hi guys, it's finally working. It wasn't working before. But I'm so glad it is working now. Um, I had a dream last night that was very interesting. Um, I really don't take much stock in my dreams, but um, this one was very interesting. It was um, about a church. Um, and do you know how most churches are doing webcasts? Uh, now, because we're all in quarantine. Um, well, this church is webcast in my dream. It started off as a regular worship service, but the, the Holy Spirit of the Lord just came into the room. And the webcast ended up lasting for five hours. And by the end of it, everyone um, that was in the building, including the cameraman, the worship team, everyone in the band, everyone that was there, um, was, was were totally on their knees, including the pastor. And it was just an experience. We didn't, I, um, they didn't know what to call it. It was just, the Lord had just come into the room and there was nothing to do but just sit there in the presence of God. And it was the most powerful thing I, I think I've ever dreamt and as I was waking up I was in the middle of sleeping and waking and as I was fully waking up uh, the Lord said um, push beyond the veil um, so I think in this quarantine he wants us to push beyond what we know because the reason why we're so antsy is because we want to get back to what we know. But he's saying, even when we do get back to quote unquote normal, it won't be the way it was before. And I'm not talking about the uh, restrictions and, um, you know, wearing masks and whatever. That is not what I'm talking about here. He's saying, spiritually he's saying he's really doing a new thing and we need to push beyond what we know um what what our mind can conceive and it was just wonderful because in my dream also around the world i saw people just watching this particular broadcast this particular webcast on YouTube and just um, just getting set free and uh, confessing their sins and getting free from addictions and all of that. Um, it was like an experience that the world has had never seen before. And I woke up and just, I said, Lord, what is this? He said, now it's time for my children to push beyond the, beyond the veil, push beyond what they know. See, the Lord's taking us, uh, whether he caused this or whether like life causes. I said, I, I tend to think he didn't cause this, but he's using it. He's taking us out of what we know because he's wanting us to push. He's using COVID to take us out of what we know um, into something new. As to what that something new will look like, I don't know. Um, but he wants us to push beyond what we know. The reason why we're so upset, some of us are, some of us are so upset and antsy because 
we want to get back to what we know. But he's saying, even when we do get back to what we know, it won't be the way we know it. Church won't be church as usual. It won't be the two song thing or three songs in a prayer or whatever your liturgy is. He wants to do something new and different. And, and he said to me, it's time for my people to push beyond the veil. And um, that is the word of the Lord. And Father, we receive your word. We receive your life. We receive your love. We receive it. Good. And he also was talking to me about creativity. He said, it's time for churches specifically to get creative. Um, like I've heard a lot of pastors say, oh, I wish I could have the congregation. Oh, I wish I could have people here. Um, and yes, I understand what you mean and I wish so too. But he said, until that happens, we need to get creative. We need to do things that we have never done before. Yes, uh, we've done the web. Yes, some churches have been doing the web thing or whatever. But he said um, to pastors, think beyond that. He said, he said, he said it's time for churches to get creative. I saw churches um, online uh, in another vision a few uh, days ago, just um, playing fun games to decide what song they would sing first or and doing doing fun things like that. I, I saw um, pastors having a question and answer with um, people online. I saw I saw all these different things happening. If we use this time wisely, we will we as the church will come up with strategy, will come up with things that we couldn't dream of if it wasn't for quarantine. So fo don't focus on the fact that you can't see people. Think of ways um, to engage without engaging. What I mean by that, think of ways to engage people without physically engaging, without physically engaging people. Um, we need to have a new mind. We need to ask God for his mind in this season. What would he have us do? Not only what would he have us learn, but what strategies would he have us use uh, to take the gospel, to do the gospel? Is it like, um, does he want us to uh, make up fun little games online where we can give prizes away? Or, you know, does he want us to have question and answer? Does he want us to have, I know one church was having Throwback Thursday. Uh, this is the time for creativity. And he, out of creativity will, will come strategy that we would not have had if it wasn't for qu quarantine. And don't be so hasty or so in a hurry to get out um, of quarantine. Instead, Ask God, what are the strategies and lessons do you want me to learn? Because there, there are strategies that he wants from you in your business, in your churches, that you wouldn't have known uh, just doing things as, as um, quote unquote normal. Um, he said, 
go beyond the veil and he said be creative so those are the two things he said to me this to share with you today i'm so happy to see you i am so grateful for your comments um i hope you guys are doing well um see you tomorrow take care bye